हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज़ डॉक्टर गोविंद राय गर्ग मैनी ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स दे आर आस्किंग मी हाउ विल यू कम्प्लीट होल ऑफ द फार्माकोलॉजी इन अ सिंगल डे इन माई ओरिजिनल रेपिड रिविजन कोर्स एट सरेबेलम सो आई विल लाइक टू टीच अ लिटल आई विल से टॉपिक स्मॉल टॉपिक विच इज ऑफ अराउंड ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फाइव मिनट्स इन माई ऐप सो आई विल फिनिश दैट इन फोर टू फाइव मिनट्स एंड वी विल डू दिस इन ऑल द टॉपिक्स okay so basically we will concentrate on high yield topics and the relevant mcqs which have been asked in the last 3 to 4 years okay so my topic will be migraine so migraine is unilateral pulsatile headache so for migraine there are two things one we need to treat the migraine second if a person has frequent attacks we need to prevent the migraine regarding prophylaxis you need to remember only one thing that is the drug of choice for prophylaxis is a beta blocker called propanolol okay now coming to treatment for treatment because it is a headache so we will start with nsaids like paracetamol or aspirin like drugs if it cannot be controlled by them then we will give the drug of choice for severe migraine which are called as triptans drugs like sumatriptan etc okay so now coming to little detail migraine occurs due to calcitonin gene related peptide so this is peptide is released by the trigeminal neuron that causes pain and inflammation due to vasodilation so if we inhibit the release of cgrp then there will be less pain of migraine second if we give a drug which is a cgrp antagonist or we can say block the action of cgrp again it can be used in migraine now which drugs inhibit release of cgrp these are 5ht 1b 1d agonists this is the receptor which is present on the trigeminal neuron act as a break so when we stimulate this break occur cgrp do not come and here the drugs are uh, triptans so triptans like sumatriptan they act by stimulating 5ht1b1d another drug doing same action is ergotamine ergotamine they inhibit release but problem is they cause additional vasoconstriction because this receptor is also present on the blood vessels so that can result in coronary vasospasm so to prevent that side effect recently we have developed a new group of drugs which are called 5ht1f agonist they also inhibit the release of cgrp but they do not cause vasodilation so no coronary spasm is seen and the drug which Our 5-HT1 F agonist, their name end with the ditans, and one of the drug is lesmi ditan. This is a new drug. Okay. Now coming to drug which inhibit the action of CGRP, or we can say which is receptor antagonist, CGRP receptor blocker. So there are two drugs. One is monoclonal antibody against CGRP, and second which are small molecule inhibitors of CGRP receptors. The monoclonal antibodies examples include arenumab, galcanizumab. and free manizumab these are monoclonal antibodies and you can see all of them contain in the name nu or ne which stand for neurons okay then there are some small molecules which are called as gpens that advantage is gpens can be given orally whereas monoclonal antibodies are injectable drugs so drugs ending with gpent like olsi gpent rime gpent etc there are small molecule antagonists of cgrp Okay. so these all drugs can be used in migraine okay so this is the complete topic which was of around 20 to 25 minutes in my main video here it is of 3 to 4 minutes but what is the important thing i have covered almost all the important drugs and what is missing basically is the more details about these uh, mechanisms and what is again missing is the joke okay. so if you want to listen to the joke go back to my main app okay. thank you very much